Okay, this is going to be a very quick update on my FPV blade inductrix um, that I've modified with this little FPV camera, 25 milliwatt camera that you're seeing all over the place these days. This little FPV kit came with this clover leaf antenna, circular polarized antenna, and it's very delicate. Um, and to top it off, I never had that much luck with it. It just didn't work as well as I had hoped, uh, especially compared to some of the other uh, videos that I saw. So I tried a number of things, uh, changing my video receivers, but it really didn't help that much. Plus, after numerous crashes, I mean, if you have one of these for FPV, you know these things take a beating. After numerous crashes, these things would bend back and forth, bend back and forth, and I've had to solder it a couple of times um, to repair it which is not a problem, but I decided to take it off this morning. Um, and all I did basically was just use some uh, solder wick, the uh, desoldering braid, and sucked up all the solder on the mounts and it popped right off. I replaced it with a linear dipole. Now this is going to be a half wave dipole. Um, and all I did was basically just solder it to the top of the mount to the positive side of the mount I guess that would be yeah, the positive side of the mount and on my fat shark goggles I'm using this old inexpensive patch antenna that I bought I don't know where I think I got it from China a long time ago for like five bucks uh, I took the plastic housing off because I wanted to see what was inside of it. But anyway, I had it stuck in a drawer and I decided to take it off, put it on the fat sharks here, and fly with this dipole. And I'm going to tell you that I'm, have, I'm having much, much, much more success with this little dipole. Uh, the range is about the same, but I'm able to fly behind uh, walls, buildings, utility rooms, things like that. Um, and not lose my signal at all. It'll get a little sparky, but um, it's totally flyable. I couldn't do that with the circular polarized antenna. I'd go behind a tree, go behind a, a utility room wall, and it would just cut out completely. Uh, two or three rooms away in my house, flying in and out of rooms, couldn't do it with this because it would just, it would spark out and then the video would totally disappear. I don't have that problem with this dipole, which kind of surprised me. Um, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to put that out there. I, I, I looked on the internet for people repairing these to see what other guys were doing, because I know everybody's breaking these things. Um, I can find nothing on YouTube about repairing or replacing or you know, doing something with this. I thought about making another one out of light copper wire, but uh, I'm you know, about 25 or 26 millimeters of this wire. We'll solder to the top and it works great, so I'm sticking with it. Um, I saw a lot of other videos of, and other websites of people making all kinds of mounts for these things, protection mounts. So you put this here and you got this uh, 3D printed what not covering this to keep it protected and to be honest with you uh, that's a lot of unnecessary weight in my opinion you want to keep this thing as light as possible for the fastest longest flight times you can and uh, so for me it, it really wasn't an option to add a bunch of mounts um, 3d printed stuff uh, and just adding weight I would I want to shave weight off of this in fact you know if I could shave more weight off of this I probably would it just increases the performance and increases the flight time. But anyway, just wanted to throw that out there as an option for repairing the video, the video transmitter um, if you need to do that. I mean,